drummingforlife.com. Hey there, it's Vaughn at drummingforlife.com. Aloha. Hope you're doing well. Today I want to share with you about the flexibility of the five stroke roll. Uh, a lot of videos out there about the five stroke roll, but I'm going to share with you kind of kind of demonstrate for you today how I use it in ways that uh, maybe you didn't think of before. And this is in the context of playing brushes. Now I go into a lot more detail about how to use the five stroke roll, how to play the five stroke roll, how to use the five stroke roll, how to do all those things uh, in fills and in incorporating it into grooves at uh, my brushes course called the Brushes Mastery Course at jazzdrumschool.com. So I hope you'll go check that out as well. Uh, before we get into the, the nuts and bolts here, I uh, want you to make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and go ahead and swish that like button and uh, leave a comment. I'd love to connect with you. I respond to all of my comments. So let me show you here kind of the nuts and bolts of how we're gonna do this. Now, a five stroke roll uh, can be counted a couple different ways, all right? You can count it as, as individual strokes, so you can count it as one, two, three, four, five, and that's why we call it a five stroke roll, or one, two, three, four, five, just alternating hand leads, all right? I can also count it as 16th notes. One, E, and a, two, E, and a, three, E, and a, four, E, and a. I could count it in kind of 32nd note values as well, uh, if you're going faster, but I'm not, for the purposes of this particular video, I'm not going to go into that right now. But just those couple different ways. Now, I would encourage you actually to learn how to read some basic rhythmic notation if you don't already know. Uh, get yourself a teacher that can work with you on that. It's not so hard. Uh, I used to teach uh, kids how to read music notation in like five minutes. And after I got done with it, they were like, oh, that's what it is. It's not hard. A lot of people have a resistance to it, but I'm telling you, it's not that hard. If you need support with that, I also teach Zoom lessons, which I'm going to talk about at the end of this video. So um, you can sign up for those at vonbarenstore.com. Uh, and I use all the same kind of camera angles and things. So, uh, But this is a something basic I think you need to know is how to, how to count things in in rhythmic notation because it's going to be easier for you to play them. So for example, if I'm counting a five stroke roll, counting the strokes, this is a stroke by the way, this is one stroke, right? So if I'm playing one, two, three, four, five, what happens when I go fast? One, two, five, one, two, five, one, two, five, one, two, five, one, two, five. What happens if you longer roll? I mean, how are you going to count that, right? It doesn't make any sense. So you want to be able to count things in kind of rhythmic notation. One, E, and, two, E, and. You know, you can. It's just, it's just easier. And as you, as I was saying earlier, talking about the thirty-second note value, when you count it in that that regard, it actually gets even easier. Uh, so, uh, it's just encourage you to, to to think about that. If you don't already know how to read, I hope you'll you'll kind of start to figure that out because that's going to really help you. I, I say it's like going to the top of a mountain, like you go hike to the top of Mount Fuji, and you want this beautiful sunrise view and all you get is like this much of the view because you can't see the rest of it and that's what reading does for you it opens up that view and allows you to see the full picture so at any rate we're going to do this kind of uh one e and uh two e and uh now notice in the video before this i talked about how to do clean doubles okay go check that out All right, so you want your, your five stroke rolls to be clean, baby, clean. Okay, now, there, another way I like to play uh, the, the doubles is something I, I share another way I like to do that in the brushes mastery course as well. But for right now, I just wanna focus on this kind of up down motion. Make sure it's clean. 
Remember, drumming is a cumulative effect. A little bit doesn't sound clean. The whole image, the whole sound of what you're trying to do doesn't sound clean, all right? So cleanliness is everything here. And it's not a, you know, it's not a speed, it's not a race. So, you know, I encourage you when you're starting off practicing things, anything, play it slow so you can learn it fast. If you play it too fast, your brain isn't going to get it. It's going to play mistakes, and that's what you're going to be teaching your brain, how to play mistakes. So we don't want to do that. Goodness, no. Again, like the technique of how to do this and how to use the fingers and all that stuff, I go into a lot of detail in the uh, brushes mastery course. The purpose of this video is to kind of give you, highlight the whole concept of uh, how to use it in interesting ways. So uh, I'm go over to the practice pad a little bit too to take away some of that extraneous sound. Kind of see how it's easier maybe to hear it. Okay. All right. So uh, let me show you a little bit kind of what I do uh, when I use it in uh, a few different grooves. One, two, one, a two, a three, one, uh -huh. Nova. Okay. Still funk. Kind of get the idea. This is kind of, kind of easy ways to kind of incorporate that uh, into your into your playing. And I just think it's the five-stroke roll is so flexible and so versatile. You can use it in, in just any style of music you play, uh, and especially any style when you're working with brushes. You can you can certainly use it any style of brush playing that you want. Uh, you can apply it to those styles. So I encourage you to kind of dig in and see what you can do with it all right uh, and again I talk about this uh, the double thing in the other video and kind of how to get some bounce out of your brushes so I encourage you to check that out I put the link below as well uh, and that kind of help you kind of work on getting your, your doubles happening all right uh, and one last thing I want to mention too is that at the end of that five stroke roll you're going to be doing a kind of an accent. Hear that? So the first the, the first four notes are really not so loud. So you want to have some contrast in your five stroke. You don't want to have everything be you know everything kind of loud. When we hear drummers, great drummers play, mostly what we hear are those accents that they're playing. And the accents are like you know, when you're a kid and you're learning you know, connect the dots, it used to be one of my favorite activities when I was a kid. And you connect the dots and you create a picture. Those dots are like the accents. So you're you're actually you're actually you know creating a picture when you when you make those those 
uh, doubles softer and quieter and you make that last note of the five stroke roll, that single, make it louder. Right? So I encourage you to really focus in on that too and get it to be clean so that those doubles are really clean leading into that accent and so bam and it really makes that accent stand out. All right. Uh, just a couple more things uh, I want to share. I have a, have a great blog that I've been writing for over a year now, uh, basically helping you with about the music business of playing music, especially with jazz, uh, how to connect your sound, your playing to the other musicians on the bandstand and to the music, and also how to stay healthy to play drums. So I hope you'll check, out, check that out. I've also got, as I mentioned before, I have my Zoom drum lessons. Uh, and I use all these camera angles uh, that you can see. Hello. And uh, hello. And hello. And then I've got my, my feet down here, the feets. So, you know, I've got all these different, uh, these different uh, camera angles also to support your drumming. Uh, it makes it a lot easier for students to kind of see what I'm doing. And uh, so you can sign up for those at vonbarenstore.com. Also at vonbarenstore.com, I've got lots of great uh, drumless tracks, meaning tracks that practice tracks for drummers. They don't have drums, and you can be the drummer. I've got lots of mix possibilities, got bass only on many, many, many of them, uh, which is great for working on your time playing and, and, and your feel. Uh, and working on your quarter note, quarter note groove, uh, and uh, it's mostly mostly jazz. So I think you'll enjoy it. You really want to get your jazz playing together, prepare maybe to play with other people on the bandstand at a gig or something coming up. It'll really help you do that because you're playing with real recorded musicians. So it's not uh, it's not MIDI eyes. It's not you know, quantized. It's the real stuff. So it'll really help you. Uh, I've also got my jazzdrumschool.com, as I mentioned, and my Brushes Mastery courses over there. I'm going to have some more courses going up soon. They're going to be focused on using sticks and some stuff with hands and mallets and all kinds of fun stuff. So we're going to be getting into that uh, and getting into some uh, other aspects of jazz and drumming. So thanks so much for watching. I hope it was helpful. And as I always say, keep on drumming. Take care. Drumming for life dot com